mga files nila in preparation to the incoming school. Yes, I think almost everybody has a Gmail account. Konti na lang ata yung nakikita kung gumagamit ng Yahoo account. So same same for Minister Romelia Bees. Uh, I also use both Google Drive and the One Drive in Office 365. Uh oh, yung sa mga legacy, may mga Yahoo accounts pa rin tayo. I think during the time of Friendster, yung account registration na ginagamit na iba is Yahoo. So, uh, if you know someone uh, who is willing to join and learn about Google Drive, you can send them this link that's on your screen. Ito. Para makapag-join sila. And then if they want to chat with the other attendees and our speaker, they can just you know, do so by just joining. Also, don't forget to follow and like our Facebook page. So we appreciate po those um, followers namin sa the ICT VCP page. Sana po ay nakabigay kami ng service by providing you free trainings. So we're also live in Facebook. So if you know someone who is on mobile and would like to listen to our live webinar, you can just uh, tell them to look up our Facebook page. Also, for our speakers and organizers, there are people requesting for advanced training on Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. So we'll pass that over to our organizers. So yes, to all deaf ed teachers, uh, you have unlimited storage at Google Drive. Tama po yun. <laughs> Hello po sa mga teachers natin. So for those who are attending and are using a computer or a laptop, we suggest din po that you open your Google Drive. Um, I'm not sure if the speaker will be showing you how to how they manage the Google Drive application, pero it's better that you prepare yourself and Open your Google Drive folder.
Hello, Dao. Shout out to all SDO Classic teachers uh, from Mesa Magno. Hello po sa lahat ng SDO Classic teachers. Uh, yes, good afternoon from Davao City, Jerome Rattilia. Uh, hello din kay Jack Chris Marquez. So, parang same people lang din yung nakikita po in joining our seminar or webinar. Thank you very much po for attending and joining. I hope na um, you know, after this quarantine or GCQ or ECQ, that you can apply the trainings, whether it be at school or in your organizations. No webinar, webinar suki. Yes, tama po mo marsagang. And we have people from Talisay City Division, Perdita Badayas. Good afternoon po. Ah, nadito po si Miss Marian Usoko, our uh, provincial officer in Biliran. Also, uh, for Ed, coordinator of the league. So for those that is not aware, we have a Tech for Ed project. Uh, there's this platform. You can go to www.techfored.gov.ph. So for new users, po, you can register. Uh, just to take your nearest Tech for Ed center in your area. Yes, and hello po, uh, Sir Jimmy Santos from ISEP Oman. Morning sa kanila, afternoon sa atin. Hello po kay Lady Jane Lane from Negros Oriental, Sibulan. Yes, hello po. So, sino po yung kaka Negros Oriental? So, yung moderator niyo po is from Tumaguete City. Mago na lang tayo. And we also have Tech for Ed Center Manager. Hello, uh, Miss Alanis, ma'am. I think uh, someone muted you kindly. Uh, unmute yourself. <laughs> okay. Hello, po. San ba ako? Ano ba yung last na sinabi ko? Yes. You're from Dumaguete. From Dumaguete. <laughs> okay. So, we're about to start on time. Because we know people will eventually join the webinar session, both in Google Meet and in our Facebook page. And yes, but this will be recorded. And it's in Facebook live stream, so automatic mapupost po doon yung uh, webinar session if you would like to revisit the, the speaker's uh, presentation. So for those who are, who are constantly joining our webinar, which do you prefer for Google Meet, Zoom, or WebEx? I'm curious lang din po ako. Zoom. Um, parang, I know, say, maraming Zoom. Zoom and WebEx. WebEx, Google Meet. Siguro baguhin namin yung survey namin in the future kung ano yung platform na gusto nyo.
Yes. Pag convenient po talaga si Google Meet, yun lang, meron din siyang mga kailangan i-include. Sige, next time na kami mag mag-survey kung anong platform ang gusto nyo. Or which one is it? So for those who just joined and have not registered before, make sure to register because we're conducting a study tool regarding the webinars. Like identify, you know, the location of those who have been attending our webinars. Uh, also, we'd like to understand their or make a case study of how, how we can help you adapt to the digital age. Okay, so, kundi na lang po and we'll about to begin in a few minutes. Um, so, while waiting, uh, let me just discuss to you the webinar house rules. So, number one is to mute your microphone or your audio. Uh, and the second is do not share your screen unless you are the speaker or the organizer. Uh, third is drop your questions in the chat box so they will be accommodated at the end. And be sure to listen and take notes in lieu of the certificates you have to pass to face and answer the evaluation. Uh, digital certificates will be given within two weeks after this webinar. And don't forget to like or follow our Facebook page at DICP F O O D C. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alan Lisa. I'm your moderator for today. So we are expecting about this number of participants. Uh, we posted this uh, webinar through Facebook, and we have a total of 929 registered participants. 451 confirmed their attendance, and 451 said yes, and 471 are still awaiting. So, first come, first serve po yung makaka-attend sa Google Meet. The rest can join in our Facebook live stream page. So, these are the demographics or location. So, it's everywhere around the world. Uh, but not all, not all countries. We have majority are in San Luzon. So we have Quezon, Real, Real Quezon, Las Marinas Cavite, uh, San Pedro Laguna, Pampanga, NCR, uh, and then we also have a few from outside the Philippines like in Muscat, Oman, Riyadh, KSA, Bahrain, um, Doha, Qatar. So, yan po yung demographics location. Parang hindi ko lahat nakalagay dito. Pero majority, meron, so we have people from outside the Philippines. Sana po ay nakakaintindig po tayo ng Tagalog or Tagalog. Okay. Next, uh, gender. So 59.5% are female and 405 are male participants. So mas maraming oras ko yung women to, to learn. The demographics age, so it's across the board. Majority are in the 22 to 13 age, followed by 32 to 48. So, ganyan. So, meron po tayong nag-register na 15 years ago. And then, affiliation. So, kaya po, minimension po if there are teachers because majority of our 
uh, attendees are and registrants are teachers. Some of them are employed, probably from government agency or private organization. Um, unemployed, 76 or 9.6 percent of the registrants are unemployed. Um, for those unemployed, this will also benefit you because when you land a job, you would need to um, you know, learn some skills, any ICT skills. And then we'll start with our opening prayer. Uh, let's call on Sir George Michael Picarda. He is our... Uh, IIDB coordinator based in Tacloban City. Yes, so hello. Amalisa. Yes, hello. Okay, uh, uh, let us put ourselves in the Holy Presence of our Lord. Uh, Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this uh, day. Uh, thank you, Lord, uh, for the gift of life, for the gift of family. Salamat po. Uh, Na-enjoy po namin ang aming buhay. Salamat po for attending, Lord God. An opportunity nyo na uh, maka-bless, uh, ma-bless pa, Lord God. Uh, thank you, Lord, for protecting us, Lord, uh, in the midst of this crisis. Salamat, Lord, that hindi mo kami pinapakayaan. Yes. Sabi po sa, uh, in your word, Lord, uh, you said that you'll never leave us from our state. Uh, thank you, Lord God, for your trust in you. And we pray, Lord, uh, for this webinar, na maging successful po. At ma-learn talaga namin po ang paggamit ng Google Drive. Uh, bless me po ang speaker na uh, ma-share niya ang kanyang knowledge and expertise about this. Please uh, pray, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Sir George Michael Picarda for the prayer and then i'd like to ask uh, if yes so the our director uh from the the ict disaster cluster to is present in this webinar uh let's call on engineer leo sepriano del for this dundu jr he is our oic regional director in the department of information and communications technology Isaiah's Cluster 2, covering Region 7 and 8. Welcome po, Director Leo. Okay, so thank you, uh, Josh, in advance for making this uh, possible. And I uh, would like to welcome all the participants who are the most important people in this room. Thank you to the participants coming from uh, different agencies. There are participants coming from DeepEd, there are also students. Uh, we also have uh, participants coming from different parts of the country. And we also have participants coming from different regions of the ICT. Welcome uh, to this webinar. Uh, hopefully, this can help you, this can help us in maximizing the capacity of Google Drive. And we are designing this training or webinar for you because uh, for now, uh, there are challenges when we are using our computers and we are using internet in keeping our files intact together in just one repository. So this webinar, again, will help you, can help you, and hopefully you can maximize this one. And uh, those who are attending here, hopefully they're not just attending because of the certificates that we are going to give for those who can um, pass the evaluation, but also because you want to learn more related to this kind of topic. Thank you very much. Welcome, everyone. God bless and uh, good afternoon. All right. Thank you, Paul, uh, to our director in the BICT Besides Cluster 2. Okay. Besides Cluster 2, Engineer Leo Sebriano L. Urbis Tundo Jr. for gracing the opening remarks. So, uh, to inform everyone, we just reached the maximum limit for the attendees in Google Meet. So for the rest, if you know someone, um, they can stream through our Facebook page at the ICT FOOBCT. So let me introduce to you our speaker for today. He is a graduate of 
BS Information Technology at St. Paul University, University in Dumaguete around the year 2012. So he's one of the 10 outstanding students of the Philippines or TUSP uh, in Central Visayas in, on 2012 and one of the top 30 outstanding students of the Philippines with awarding help in Malacanang Palace in the year 2012. So he is a candidate, Master of Development Communications with units in Information Systems at University of the Philippines Open University. Uh, he is a former university IT instructor and former technical support engineer in a techno in a technology company or BP. He attended Google or G Suite end users training workshop in Cebu City and currently a project development officer of DICT BC2 IIED. So let us welcome our speaker for today, uh, Mr. Joshua Lizardo. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ma'am Alanis, and thank you for um, accepting the last minute call <laughs> to be the moderator for this afternoon. And good afternoon to uh, our participants for this afternoon and good days na lang kung um, nandito nga yung mga participants natin, most especially from those in the Middle East and I believe na meron din tayong uh, um, meron din tayong mga participants from Cairo, Egypt ba? So welcome, good day na lang sa inyo because it might not, it might not, it might not be um, afternoon sa inyo so but um, for mostly who are here in the Philippines, good afternoon sa inyong lahat and I welcome you once again um, Meron ba ditong uh, sumalinan nung last Tuesday? <laughs> because I was also um, the moderator last Tuesday sa um, HTML programming. Meron? Okay, I'm getting answers na meron. So welcome once again. Ako na naman ang nasa inyong harap. <laughs> Whether you like it or you like it. You like it na lang kasi walang choice kasi ako on nandito. But um, let's... Um, I, um, I think this will be a lot quicker as compared to uh, the webinar that we had last Tuesday. Um, kasi highly technical yung webinar natin last Tuesday on HTML and we extended. And thank you very much for those who stayed. But for this, um, I think I can assure you that we won't reach that um, that long naman, like until 5 p.m. Kung pwede nga, uh, 3 p.m. Baka pwede, but we'll see because we will also have some hands on uh, na pag navigate sa Google Drive. But um, enough about me. Um, I also want to uh, ask about you naman. So I want you to go to menti.com. Pinepresent ko pa po. Okay, ayan po. I want you to go to menti.com and key in the code 724549 and please answer the question, why are you joining today's webinar? And real time po, nalalabas ang answers nyo dito sa screen and uh, you will answer anonymously, hindi naman makikita ang pangalan nyo. Just, I just wanted to check why you are here in this webinar right now. Sige, I'll give you uh, around a minute to... Uh, Go and hover to uh, menti.com. Ayan na, may naglalabasa na ating mga sagot. Observe to learn more about Google Drive. To learn, I'm using Google Drive. Perhaps you wanted to uh, know more about the tips or you, you want to know to, to have a better knowledge about Google Drive, like how you wanted to maximize um, using it as a refresher. So, um, na, naiwanan mo na ang paggamit mo ng Google Drive, I think, because you need to uh, refresh your knowledge about Google Drive. To learn at pumapasok ng pumapasok ang mga answers natin to enhance, refresher, to gain knowledge. I think, basically, they all... Uh, revolve around the same answers, no? To, to have an additional knowledge, to expand my knowledge, to learn, to master Google Drive, okay. So, ayan na, lumiliit na po ang mga fonts nyo at hindi ko na po nakikita. 
we have 75 response responses already about the others i think we have 200 i think jump packed ulit ang uh, room natin no? we have 252 for google meet and 250 lang actually ang uh, kasha ayan na dumadami na okay sige po to better not to learn more about g drive for the for the sake of security may, na, may nakita ko answer na for secure for curiosity sorry for curiosity so ito yung isa naming uh, participant picture sa satanerist that we are giving another chance for people ayan po um i would just like to uh, remind um everyone who who are in the uh, meet room right now in google meet to uh, please um refrain from um unmuting your mic uh please uh do uh, mute your mic uh, that's one of the challenge here in Google Meet because we, the organizers could not actually uh, control um, your audio and your video as well and, and you sharing. So um, please refrain na lang po. At ayan na po, I think the bottom line here, ang pinaka nakikita ko pong word dito is knowledge. And I, I am glad that you want to know more about google drive this might not be um a stranger to most of you because you already know google drive and uh, okay so thank you po ayan na po hindi ko na po mabasa uh, sira din ang mata ko so thank you for answering po now i know that um perhaps more than the certificate that we will be giving uh, later you're also after the knowledge that you will gain above anything else so uh, we will now proceed to our topic and the main meat of our um, webinar this afternoon. And uh, it is about, of course, Google Drive. Shall we begin? Thank you for answering in our mentee. Now, Google Drive is a cloud storage solution with 15 gigabyte of storage available for free and paid plans with additional storage and features. Now, um, simply put, Google Drive is um, a cloud storage solution. Now that we are in this global pandemic and perhaps many are working from home, um, many are in a, a skeleton um, work scheme wherein perhaps you only go to your offices for um, how many days than the usual five days or six days in a week. And having a cloud storage is the best solution for such when you work from home. And Kanina, um, when we were actually, uh, when we were just starting, no, I think uh, Mem Alanis has, has asked if you already know about this and if what are, what, uh, cloud storage um, applications you are using and there was someone who uh, answered that you're using office 365 but um, actually office 365 is not comparable to a, a google drive it's like we are um comparing an orange with an apple because um, google, um office 365 is actually um, a set of products from Microsoft, it includes um, Microsoft, oh, uh, um, Microsoft Word, Excel, um, PowerPoint. But Google Drive itself is actually um, a cloud storage solution. And if you would compare um, um, Google Drive with another uh, storage solution from Microsoft, it would actually be OneDrive, not Microsoft 365. But if you would um, compare those Office 365 um, um, products or offices to um, the Google platform, then that is actually comparable to the G Suite. To make it clear, lang po. we have um, we have a lot of cloud storage providers in the world, and um, actually Google Drive first started in around 2012. And during that time, um, the number one storage, cloud storage provider was actually Dropbox. Dropbox. And um, 
but there was kind of a problem because when you would access um when you would access Dropbox, you could not really um you could not collaborate that well, especially if you work in a team, and you could not access your emails and then have it synced or synchronized with um with with Dropbox. And so here comes Google. So Google actually first started as a search engine company. So you know what's what search search engine, right? Um, when you uh, open the web browser and when you um, search for um, anything that you want to, to search, and perhaps Google will enter the scene and it will do the search for you. And it is along with um, Yahoo and everything else. Now, you might actually ask, how then does um, Google, um, you know, get um, income or, or, or how do they, they get money from just being a search engine? Like, if you could imagine, in exchange of being a search engine, how, how, how come is that Google is one of the um, highest um, earning companies in this world or in this, in this global um, situation right now? The answer is, aside from ads, wherein Google, um, if you are a business and you uh, pay, for advertisement so that your products will be advertised in the search engine. In 2012, Google introduced the cloud storage solution, wherein um, if you actually pay or if, if you want a higher storage than 15 gigabytes, uh, you, you have to pay. You have to pay now. And um, if actually Google Drive is basically free. It is free, and you are given 15 gigabytes of free storage, uh, and you could access most of its apps. But if you would want to go beyond 15 gigabytes of storage, then um, you have to pay now. Um, you have to pay for more than 15 gigabytes of storage. And one good thing about Google Drive is that it lets you keep all your work in one place, and it lets you view different file format, formats without buying extra software, and it allows you to access your files from any device, and that is correct. Um, you can actually access your files whether you are in your desktop or laptop, or whether you are in mobile, regardless of if it is, um, if you are using an Android a smartphone or iOS, then you can actually do so. And one good thing about Google Drive is that it has its own um, built-in applications that can actually run and read the basic Office um, formats and Office documents that you have, in which for the other storage or cloud storage um, cloud storage products or services they could not do so like if you um, if you op if you upload like Microsoft Word in one certain um, cloud storage application um, tendency is it could not read it as a Microsoft Word because it doesn't have a supporting um, built-in application that can read such format. Now, I, I'm not sure if you have heard of um, Box as well, or OneDrive or Drop, Dropbox. These were actually um, the leading um, cloud storage um, provider before. But sometime in 2012, Google Drive entered the scene, and it has, um, it has given a tough competition among its um, competitors. And if, if you are actually familiar with OneDrive, no? OneDrive, that is actually the Microsoft equivalent of uh, Google Drive, okay? But we understand that we have our own, um, in our own personal computer or in our own device, we have our local storage. And uh, 
of course, when you access your local storage, that is just plainly present in your computer system. But what if it so happened, I think we have um, teachers here, correct? Most of our participants are teachers. What if si ma'am, si ma'am, you, um, you have a conference to attend to and you, are, you have um, a presentation, but what happened is you saved it in your USB flash drive from your local PC. It so happened that, God forbid, um, your USB flash drive ha has been corrupted or it doesn't work as it should be or it must be. So you should actually have a backup, a backup copy of your file without having to use um, physical and tangible technologies. Now here comes the cloud storage wherein cloud, um, cloud storage providers have their own um, servers over the net. And so you just have to access and um, you just have to make use of their, their services. You just have to upload um, your files. So aside from um, si mam, aside from mam, um, making use of her USB flash drive because she has to present something in a conference. One great alternative as backup is saving it or uploading it in the cloud storage. So that's one good, um, one concrete example of how cloud storage is important nowadays. In my case, I am actually, um, I am on my master's. I am I'm on my master's already, and actually, I'm on my uh, thesis already. And for the, I, I my my school is actually an open university. It means that we do our classes online, and we uh, study online. We need not to go physically to our school uh, just to learn. We just have to um, go. Uh, to the internet and we have our own um, platform to uh, learn so diba, these days I think um, ngayon ang mga classes na are done online no? correct in this uh, in this current COVID-19 um, pandemic situation that we have right now I think some are doing their classes online but actually such kind of um, uh, of education has been uh, we has been the kind of learning that I've been doing already for the past two to three years as a student in the University of the Philippines Open University. So we actually learn online, we interact online. I have never met my classmates except for when we had to uh, take our final examinations. I had to go to the nearest um, do UP Learning Center, which is here in Cebu, to take my final examinations. But most, I think, 98% of the time, we were online. And so um, having um, a storage, a cloud storage on hand is really, really important. In my case, most especially that if we have some group works, we need not to submit individually um, our own um, office documents and then compare with each other if um, if you are assigned with one certain topic and one has to still access your file and another ha still has to access your file but with the google drive technology that it offers you can just have one specific file that is actually accessible to everyone you will know who did the edit who is currently editing and there is no um there is no issue with the security most especially because um you can limit the access to certain people you can limit the access to certain um, persons that belong to your team and so that is one actually concrete evidence of google drive and um such um such kind of um technology or such kind of platform or tool is not actually present in other cloud storage um, providers. That is why um, I think that was such a clever um, technique done by Google to make it 
um, Google Drive product very, very um, at par and very competitive to the other um, cloud storage applications available. Okay. Now, may I know if you already have your own Google account? Well, for those actually in Google Meet who are attendees right now, uh, not all actually are using their Google account or their Gmail account because it is actually open to all other domains. But if you go to a Google Meet Mobile or you, you access Google Meet Mobile, you could not actually um, enter the meeting if you are not signed into your um, Google account. Okay, that's the difference between the mobile and the desktop version of Google Meet. So Google Meet, um, for those who are yung mga nakapasok sa Google Meet, we are jam-packed right now. Um, that is another um, product of Google. That is another service of Google. And that's actually part of the G Suite na um, program. So Go uh, Google Drive is actually part of the G Suite platform. And G Suite is actually, um, it is a collection of all other tools and products and services of Google that the company offers. Now, even us in um, the government, we are actually working in the government and we have already migrated from using a certain, um, a certain service provider now we have um, we have migrated to uh, using our GovMail account already. That is actually um, a product of uh, Google. And uh, I'm not sure with the other government agencies if naka migrate din kayo sa Google. Can someone answer back? Um, is is your uh, is your domain a deped.gov.ph? Are you accessing it through the through Google, perhaps? Mm -hmm, yes. Ah, okay. For those answering yes, I think you are from DepEdba or from DOST. Yes, sir. Said DepEd. Okay. DepEd email that is hosted by the Google platform. Okay. So yeah, thank you for answering. Now, um, for those, naman. For those who are on perhaps on Facebook Live and for those who are on Google Meet desktop, some of you might have no um, Google account. So having a Google account is also synonymous to having a Gmail account because um, they, they go hand in hand with each other. Uh, if you have a Google account, it also means that you have a Gmail. And for those who do not have, if you are if you are you are accessing or you're joining this meeting, this Google Meet through mobile, I understand that you have that is already given that you have your Gmail account. But for those in desktop Meet, Google Meet, and for those who are accessing FB Live, perhaps there are those who still doesn't have his or her own Gmail account. So for the for your benefit, um, you actually it is a must that you must have a Google account before proceeding to Google Drive. Again, you could not access Google Drive without having a Google account first. Now there is no issue as regards the signing up or registering because. It is actually free. Libre lang po ang uh, ang have ang magkaroon ng Google account. So if in case you want to uh, sign up, um, ito po ang actually ang interface niya when you try to uh, create your own Google account. Ako in my case, I have so many Google accounts. I have something for personal. I have something for my studies because our own. Um, domain which is upou.edu.ph where we are given our own um, email accounts in my school for my masters and i have my own um google account for such and also for for my work 
as a government employee, we're also given um, our own Google account. So uh, I have actually more than five Google accounts right now. So it it doesn't have an issue if you have actually if you have our uh, you have many you have many Google accounts. Okay. Now it is actually smooth and it allows you uh, to synchronize all other access to other Google's services. So once you have your own um, Google account, that is the same um, account that you will have to use to use the different features and to use the different services of Google. And later on, as we go along the way, perhaps we can, um, we can navigate or we can explore some of the products, although that is that that is actually not um, that should not have been part of our presentation. But when you talk about Google Drive, that is also tantamount to uh, using um, the different um, tools and the different um, features that the Google or the G Suite actually offers. So, kahit ano lang, at least for for the others, I understand that you already know. Um, the other um, products of G Suite like um, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. But for the benefit of the others who do not, then we will try to uh, navigate them one by one. But um, actually, if you want to have, um, if you want to have a sole um, webinar about this, like it's about where the G Suite actually offers. So mm -hmm. kahit ano lang, at least for, for the others, someone is, okay. Um, if you want to actually know um, in depth about um, specifically Google, um, Google Sheet alone or Google Docs alone, um, I think we could not squeeze that in in this webinar. I think that also means um, there is another specific webinar for that. But I will try my best in a little amount of time to at least um, navigate and compare these products from the other leading products, uh, just like uh, Microsoft Office, their Word, their um, uh, Excel, and their PowerPoint. At least we could have a little um, knowledge about it and what really are their similarities and their differences okay now uh, generally if you are um, a Google uh, if you have a Google account and you have your Google storage you are given by um, Google by Google itself a 15 gigabyte um, free storage okay actually pinataasan and expand na nila tong ngayong 15 gig but um, years ago, konti lang to. I think it was 10 or 11 gigabytes or lesser. But I think um, Google has understood our need to go to uh, the open space, to um, the cloud storage um, technologies. And so they are um, generous enough to uh, give us 15 gigabytes of free storage. But if ever, um, if ever kulang, um, you have to um, you have to pay for more. And in our case, in our um, in our department, I, I work for the ICT. We were actually we have thirty gigabytes free of storage, so around two times the free capacity of um, of a regular Google account. But I think for DepEd, since I think your department has um, has taken the G Suite for education or perhaps some other businesses um, have availed for, of um, G Suite businesses, then you actually have, you are very lucky to have um, an unlimited uh, unlimited storage. Can you confirm that back, our debit? Do you, do you have unlimited or you're also restricted to 30 gigabytes. I also am not sure about that. Ah, okay, so there are people who are answering, of course. I, I would assume that you come from DepEd and you have unlimited. Wow, 
uh, nakakainggit naman yan, you have unlimited um, storage. Sana kami din one of these days <laughs> because as as we have this current situation now and most of the time we, we work from home, di ba? Um, I think it is a must that we uh, allocate more for the cloud storage um, capacity. Okay. Now, um, Google Drive also works best in Google Chrome. So, Google Chrome is the browser um, product of the Google company. And if you were here last Tuesday, you would know that my favorite, um, my favorite web browser is actually Google Chrome and there are um, but although although um, Google Chrome is a product of um, Google Drive it doesn't necessarily mean that um, Google Drive is not anymore compatible to other web browsers no um, Google Drive still will run smoothly and perfectly in other um, web uh, browsers only that um, there are some extensions, file extensions, and tools that integrate well with Google Drive if uh, you use uh, Google Chrome. Okay. But regardless, um, whatever your web browser is, Google Drive is and will always be accessible. Now, once you've signed up, assuming that you have already signed up, so if there are those who have not, uh, who have no Google account right now, please do so right now because um, a little later we will be um, hovering the Google Drive um, interface. And it is a requirement, it is a must that you have signed up for such. So once you've signed up or logged into your existing account, you can now have access to the drive via your web browser. As I've mentioned, pwedeng uh, Google Chrome, pwedeng Mozilla Firefox, um, Internet Explorer, which is Edge now, and Opera, or if you are a Mac OS user, then Safari. Uh, you can, of course, access Google Drive through those um, web browsers. But there are also dedicated mobile applications that are currently available in both um, Android and iOS devices. So aside from the desktop version, there is um, there is a mobile. There are mobile applications uh, that that are um, already available for downloads in Google Play and in iStore. Yes, meron pong standalone or a separate a mobile application aside from going sa browser or aside from accessing sa browser. Now, Google Drive is great for personal use. I use it personally and I, I also have another um, domain account for another um, service provider. But um, personally, I really find Google um, very user friendly. It's not as uh, if you would um, if you would compare Gmail with other um, another email platform. Uh, you could actually say, ako, I could actually say that I would prefer um, Gmail because um, I find it very user friendly. But apart from the fact that you can use it. Personally, on a personal level, um, what sets Google Drive apart from other cloud services it's, it, is its powerful collaboration tools. If you need to work remotely with someone on a project, just like me, just like um, in my case where I am studying master's online, and I had to work with my classmates, who come from the different parts of the world. I also have classmates who come from Luzon, who come from Mindanao while I am here staying in uh, the Visayas region. Um, we can work um, with a good collaboration technique because of Google Drive, because of what Google offers. And how about you? Can you share ba, um, how does for those who already have um, Google Drives, is there by any chance that you have 
um, you have worked um, like a collaboration with your team members, with your fellow office mates using Google Drive. Meron bang pinagawa si boss nyo na a certain document or perhaps kailangan gumawa ng grade sheet and it is actually um, the grade sheet should come from various teachers to get the general average. Meron bang mga ganun? Yes. So, thank you po for confirming that you really um, you use Google Drive for collaboration because that's one great aspect of Google Drive. Um, to be um, incomparable to uh, other um, cloud storage um, service providers na I think that's one thing na nagpaangat sila. They were, they started from the bottom in 2012 and now they are the most sought after um, uh, uh, cloud storage um, provider right now. Now, Sige. So at this point, um, we will access your own Google Drive. So for those na hindi naman nahihirapan, although we did not require you to uh, use laptop along with um, perhaps your smartphone that you're using right now, but if you'd actually, um, if you are beside your laptop right now, if you are in front of laptop right now, Please open it, or if you are on desktop, please um, open it now, turn it on now. If you are on mobile, diba, you can actually multitask then. Um, pwede ba? You can use your mobile, but what I want you to do right now is to go to your browser and we will access your Google Drive because as we start, uh, as we continue with our discussion, we will um, navigate each of the functionalities of Google Drive. Perhaps, um, alam nyo lang ang basics ng Google Drive. Alam nyo kung paano mag-upload. Alam nyo kung paano mag-download. But you are not um, aware that there are more other powerful um, capabilities that Google Drive can offer. So, do you see my screen now? This is my... Um, this is my browser. I'll check the laptop. Yes. Okay. Tama naman. So, what is the link for our Google Drive? That is drive.google.com. Okay. When you go, when you type drive.google.com, you are already accessing your um, Google Drive. That is already your Google Drive um, interface. But what if um, tinipe nyo lang ang Google Drive sa inyong URL locator? Ang lalabas niyan, of course, is ang um, search resul results from your search engine. Diba? So, if that happens, you have to hover to the correct um, link of Google Drive. Okay, but if you are in your brow if you are in your browser and you're in your your allocator, the simplest way to go to your Google Drive is by typing drive.google.com. Uh, ibalik ko lang po kasi hindi ko pala na share yung explanation ko kanina. But if you search, if itong Google Drive, no, if ito ang nilagay nyo sa inyong um, address bar or sa inyong U, uh, URL locator, tapos mag -e enter kayo, hindi yan didiretso sa Google Drive interface, but rather, it will give you the search results. And you still have to find which one is the correct one, which is this one. It's not the first, or it is actually the first one, but that is actually an ad. But the most correct one is this one. But let's go back now to the main interface of your Google Drive. Now at this point, isa-isahin po natin no, kung ano ang mga nilalaman ng ating uh, Google Drive. What are the different parts of the Google Drive interface? Okay? Sige po, let us begin. 
So this one is where you search for your files. And this is not just um, a simple um, search area or search box because Google actually um, employed an artificial intelligence na, um, capability sa ating search. That is why, say for example, um, you will type memo. Um, or order. Actually, hindi lang po ang pangalan ng file names. Kung say for example, meron kayong file name no na order at itatype nyo to sa search box, hindi lamang po order na file name ang i-display niya sa search results, but rather also the contents inside those search results. So say for example, itong Learn HTML, this is um, a Google Sheet document. Meron po yang laman na text inside na, may, na naglalaman ng order na text. And meron tayong, um, itong sa second one, itong uh, Google um, Slides ko na file. Ang file name nito is order. So sinurch din siya ng ating um, search box ng ating Google Drive. But if you could see, for most of the other items, wala pong sa file name niya, kasi ang dinidisplay po ng search results right now is ang file name. Sa file name niya, walang nakalagay na order kung saan ito ang sinerge natin. But um, Google Drive has employed um, a very intelligent artificial um, intelligence technique wherein may mga contents itong files ko na naglalaman ng salitang order. Okay, that's how intelligent um, our Google search is. Okay, next, um, next is uh, this one. This is uh, the change settings capability, wherein this allows us to change the settings of our Google Drive. It also gives um, you the option to get Drive for desktop. Well, actually, um, Google Drive is not limited to uh, um, to the Google Cloud or to the cloud storage alone. Because actually, you could um, create your own local drive in your PC that is um, that reflects that mirrors what are what are also um, inside your Google Drive and. Ipakita ko po, uh, ipakita ko po ang aking uh, file explorer, ha? Let me change my presentation view. Uh, nakikita nyo po ang uh, desktop ko na, correct? Okay. Now, if you'd actually notice it, if, you would, if I would go to my file explorer, um, the shortcut is Windows E. Uh, ito pa ang natirang um, project namin last Tuesday. <laughs> Doon sa mga nakasama ko noong Learn to Code HTML last Tuesday. If you could actually see my file explorer, I have my own Google Drive file stream na local folder and that is actually connected to my Google Drive Opo. Sa mga nagtatanong po about HTML, let us reserve our webinar for uh, Google Drive po. Now, if you could actually see, uh, di ba meron tayong, in my case, I have Drive C, of course. Uh, I have my uh, another partition for my local, uh, I, I, JC, at ah, saglit lang po. 
kasi okay. Um, if you could see, I have my own drive D, I have my drive C, I have another drive for my drive G. And that is actually my Google Drive file stream wherein ang laman din po ng aking Google Drive file stream are the very same contents and files that I have in my own Google Drive. And that is actually possible. The only thing here that must be taken into consideration is that you must have, of course, an internet connection to access these files because if not, then there is a a great tendency that you cannot access them. Although you can actually do it offline, no? but um, to make it more compatible, you must have um, a connection, an online connection as well. Because it mirrors and simultaneously, if anong laman ng inyong Google Drive sa cloud, then um, yun din po ang laman nitong inyong uh, Google Drive file stream. And Palitan ko lang po at ang um, presentation ko. And how do you do that po? Um, you actually just have to uh, click on this and uh, there is actually um, a tool or a program that you have to download and sige, kin, kinlik eh, ito, tama okay um, kinlik ko po yung yung, ano, ah, yung get drive for desktop and it leads me here and there is a certain part here wherein you can have um, a downloadable file for you to create A part here for Windows and there is for Mac. So you will, um, madali lang po siya. Next, next lang po sa, sa drive file stream that exe and it will link you to your Google Drive. Okay. Now this one here are the G Suite applications. Ito po itong uh, madaming menu natin. And part of the G Suite applications, ang um, nauna po is your account. So you can actually change your profile picture and your settings there through this account. And Gmail is, of course, part. Um, your Google Drive is tantamount to you having your own Gmail. Then there is, uh, of course, your Google Drive. Then you have um, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Google Docs po is, of course, the equivalent, is equivalent to the Microsoft Office. Google, um, Google Sheets is um, equivalent to your Excel, your Microsoft Excel. Um, that is actually a spreadsheet editing uh, application. Google Slides naman po is equivalent to, um, um, to Microsoft PowerPoint. And there are actually, mostly, there are similarities, but there are also differences and there are some limits that um, you could not um, do in such. So, sige po, let's, let's have very, very quick um, background of each of these items because I know for sure that these are the three most um, commonly used G Suite um, applications. Sige, for Google Doc, So this is your interface for Google Doc. And let's start it with blank. So ito na po ang interface niya. And um, the one thing that is good about this um, Google Doc is that you can share this to other people that needs um, access or that needs also to uh, to join the collaboration of this um, Google document. So say for example, shinare mo to kay certain someone kasi kailangan niyang i-input ang kanyang introduction kasi pinapagawa kayo ng um, group thesis and sa kanya ang in-charge ng introduction. Um, sa sunod naman ang uh, rationale. 
ito daw kay um, ito daw ay assigned kay Miss A tapos ito namang si rationally assigned kay Miss B when you share this um, to these people then they will have access and all together you can actually edit such document Google document for as long as you are all connected to the internet okay and how do you share this now of course first things first you must name your document diba? later on i will tell you you are not limited to uh, creating your own um document google docs because you can actually upload other um document processing applications just like microsoft word pwede din yang ma um ma upload and mabasa ng google docs so how do we share so say for example no itong google docs natin is share natin first things first you have to um name your document how do you name your document dito po siya nasa upper left hand side magpa prompt naman po if i share niyo tapos wala pang file name magpa prompt naman that you have to um you have to have a file name now um Say for example, you belong to a certain domain na uh, member din kayo ng G Suite. Um, ako, I am a member of, um, we, are, we are members of the DICT uh, domain. When I type a certain name, so say for example, ang kasama ko dito ngayon, nakapangalan ko din, na tinutulungan ako sa technical, si Joshua Corona, mag, uh, lalabas din po ang pangalan niya because we belong to the same group. Um, Google automatically gives um, suggestions of what you are typing. I mentioned ko na din si Ms. Claire na meron ding um, webinar this weekend. Lalabas din po ang pangalan niya. Okay? Kasi we belong to the same group. But, say for example, um, hindi, hindi kayo member ng uh, the same group or the same organization, hindi kayo nag-avail ng Google uh, G Suite application, pwede pa din niyang i-share sa iba outside of your organization by going on this part. Sa so get shareable link and you can share now such document by actually copying this link but, but first po, you should see to it kung kanino nyo siya sinishare. Like for this one, by default, um, isishare siya sa mga members ng aming uh, domain, which is the ICT. But there are also, um, if isishare ko siya sa the ICT namin na domain, um, yun lamang po members ng organization namin ang maka-access. But what if... Um, hindi siya taga DICT, taga DOST siya. Pwede ko bang ma-share pa din itong um, Google Docs? Pwede, pwede po. Meron po tayong more na options dito sa baba. And you can choose public on the web or anyone with the link. Okay? Public on the web or anyone with the link. Kasi kung pipiliin po natin itong um, for your certain organization lang, then restricted lang po to sa kanila. Okay, pwede din na hindi mo siya i-share for yourself lang or, or i-share nyo siya for specific people then pwede din po. But if you want to, if you want everyone who accesses the internet to um, make, to, to access your file then either of these two po. And you must now choose if that person can edit, pwede niya bang ma-edit ang contents. Can comment, meaning to say, um, makaka-comment po sila. Hindi sila makaka-edit, but makaka-comment sila sa mga um, content ng inyong um, document. Or they can just view, wherein hindi nila pwedeng ma-download. They can just view the document, but they can, never, um, they can never download it, they can never edit it. Just purely viewing the document itself. Or they can edit it, wherein they can download it. Okay, now we have to save it. So, so available na siya kung sino man ang may link nito, makaka-access siya, and siya din ay makaka-edit. Tapos, um, i-save ko siya, magbabago po ang link niya. Ito na po ang updated link niya. 
Anyone with the link can edit. Now you have to copy the link. Okay? You have to copy the link and the uh, link copy na. Kung um, kung sino man ang bibigyan niyo nung link na yon, perhaps over um social media accounts, ipo-post niyo sa social media or perhaps over um chat applications like Messenger o punta kayo dito, ma-open nyo ng Google Docs, that is very much possible. The only da um, downside about this is masyado po siyang mahaba, correct? Masyado siyang mahaba. So, I will give you one technique uh, para lumiit siya, although this is um, this is beyond uh, Google Chrome already, uh, I mean Google um, uh, Google platform already, but this is this is one um, clever technique para lumiit po siya. If, if you could recognize po, no, um, yung, yung registration form namin, I, um, I shortened po siya, no? Pero yung registration form po namin for those who are joining in this uh, webinar, they are actually, um, it is actually a Google form. And later, uh, maybe I could give you a brief background of Google Forms. And if you could notice, lumiit po siya, no? Hindi po siya yung, yung ganong kahaba as it, as it was originally. But I can um, I can suggest that you go to tiny URL. This is outside na po siya sa Google, but there are also other shortening um, um, web applications just like bit.ly or bit.ly, pwede din po. And you can, ju you just have to paste yung kinopya nyo, if you could see no, masyadong mahaba. If you, could, if you would give this as is no, sa taong gusto nyong bigyan, then um, perhaps it is quite confusing. Now, when you go to Tiny CC, then pwede nyo bang makustomize yan. Um, say, for example, my first document. And ano po ito ha? This is case sensitive. So kung nakakapital siya, dapat nakakapital. Meron pong iba during our, um, may mga nag-submit po sa HTML programming um, webinar namin last Tuesday, sir, but hindi namin ma-access. The problem pala is that, um, they type it as is and hindi nila consider ang um, capitalization or ang sentence casing. So this is very much um, case sensitive. So you have to shorten it. Then it will give you a free um, URL. At ito na po ang um, ibibigay nyo para mas malit sa. And you can actually share it with this. Meron po silang share button. And meron din po silang QR code. Yes, nag-generate din po ang tiny ng, ng kanyang QR code wherein uh, you just have, this is the one that you will give at mababasa na po siya ng QR code reader ng smartphone niya. Okay? And I think nawala ako, no? Tumusunod naman po, sana, no? Ang uh, iba. Okay, balik po tayo sa my drive. Okay? Ayan po. Okay, so that's one example of how you can easily um, share your file. And this is also true to other Google um, tools po. Hindi lang po sa Google Docs. But this is the, the very same thing kung paano po kayo mag-share ng inyong links to other members of your group or to someone. Pwede po kayo mag-type na specific email. Say, for example, this is my personal email. Pwede ko po siyang um, sendan at um, pwede din, pwede nyo pong itik ang notify people, when you tick notify people, it would mean that it will generate um, an, a message, an email message wherein ako daw po ay um, ini-invite kayo na mag-edit nito. So when you click on notify, that will also notify the user. If not, then... So be it. Hindi po siya ma-notify, hindi niya po malalaman na may sinishare ka, not unless you tell it to him or her um, personally. Okay? And this is the very same um, way on how you share your um, Google applications, your G Suite applications to others as well. Um, may it be Google Slides, may it be Google Forms, may it be Google um, Sheets, the same thing po kung paano mag-share. Okay? And now, um, balik po tayo sa Google Drive natin, no? Um, punta din naman po tayo sa Sheets, no? Kasi natapos na tayo sa Docs.
Okay po. Now, um, pwede pong mamili ng blank. Kami, we have, we use mostly Google Sheet. And just like, um, just like Google Doc, um, na-access din po ito na kung sino mang may kailangan na access. And the same, the same po dito na if you have to rename it, um, dito po siya sa upper left corner. And kung nagtataka po, po kayo, no, kagaya din sa Google Doc, paano po siya sinisave? Kasi di ba sa Microsoft Word, you have to uh, um, press Control S, a shortcut, or perhaps you have to go to the file ribbon, then um, save as, no? Save as a Microsoft Word document. Dito po sa ating um, Google applications, this means na this is the same this is also the same. This is also true with other um, Google platforms. May it be Sheet, uh, may it be um, Docs, may it be Forms, may it be um, Slides. Um, there is no file save us for the very reason na automatic po tong nagsisave sa cloud storage. There is no need for you to... Um, to key in control S, there is no need for you to locate file save as because in the first place, wala namang pong file save as because automatic po siyang nagsisave. Okay? And the same, um, the same formulas po na ginagamit nyo sa Microsoft Excel are the very same formulas na ginagamit din po sa um, Google Sheets. You can even um, you can even upload your own um, Microsoft um, Excel to your Google Drive, and it will open into a Google Sheet. It will convert it to a Google Sheet um, uh, um, interface. At wala pong magbabago in terms of the formula, in terms of um, the equations. Wala po as is po siya. One good thing about this Google Sheet is that nakikita po ang history. Kung sino man ang nag-edit ng certain cell na yan, i-right click nyo lang po. Ito po ay actually bagong feature niya at masashow po ang, ang history niya. So say for, for example, dito lagy, lagyan ko po sa um, cell A1 ng name. Tapos sa cell A2, nakikita ba? Uh, should I maximize it? Magnify Okay, lagyan ko po ng pangalan ng katuwang ko sa IIDBD na si Michael. Another plug. plug. <laughs> uh, magkikita po sa show edit history na inedit ko po siya. Ah, ito pa lang si Joshua Domen ang nag-edit nito. Lagot ka sa akin ha, ba't mo inedit na, na mali tuloy ang equation. So pwede din po siya sa spreadsheet. And hindi ko na po siya... Um, Hindi ko na sa um, I will not go into detail sa, sa, sa um, anong kakayahan ng uh, Google Sheets because it will take us time. But you just have to study. Um, you can you just have to study on your own. Pwede naman kung anong similarity and difference niya. But the same po, meron pong um, Sheets, um, Google Sheets. Very much like the same lang po sa... Um, sa Microsoft Excel. If you want to share it, the same with how I explained it sa um, sa Google Docs kanina, the very same processes po. The, the very same processes and I need not to uh, tell you or explain it to you again. If sa mga hindi po naka sa hindi po nakakuha kanina, you can just catch it up. Uh, sa ating FB Live, naka-FB Live din po tayo and it will, our FB Live will automatically um, play. Uh, I mean, it, it will be saved directly after po the um, webinar. Then if you want to catch up, then do na lang po, okay? So that we can maximize our time. Now, um, another G Suite application is the Google Slides. Um, Okay, um, this is the PowerPoint equivalent of um, 
for Google. Okay, so blank presentation. You can actually um, upload your PowerPoint and meron po tayong teams. You can upload your own PowerPoint. Babasahin po iyan ng Google as is. Uh, and not really as is, but um, i-convert niya po ito. I-auto-convert niya to into a Google Sheet. And one downside lang about it is that if may mga animations kayo on your, sa, sa pag-edit nyo sa Microsoft PowerPoint, no? sa paggawa nyo may mga animations kayo, um, tendency is that once you play it or you present it sa um, inyong presentation, uh, tendency is hindi po yan makikita or hindi po magpiplay yung animations na yun. Yan, yan po ang one downside or one restriction ng Google Slides. But nevertheless, everything else like the text, the content, uh, meron din pong tendency na if ang font nyo na ginamit ay hindi available sa Google, papalitan din po ng Google ng fonts, ang original fonts nyo po. So the same thing on how you share it, um, uh, the same thing po as how we did it in Google um, Docs and Google Sheets. Balik na po tayo sa ating Google, Google Drive application. And let's have another, um, ito po, itong calendar. Um, this is very much powerful. Um, for those, um, um, for those no, na nagtataka kung anong application ang ginamit namin para mag-send ng um, invitation sa inyo, doon sa mga nag-register, we actually used um, Google Calendar. Uh, I think, um, I'm not sure, but in um, past versions of um, Android phones, hindi pa po naka-install ang inyong Google Calendar. You have to install it manually sa Google Play para masynchronize po no, kung anong um, calendar nyo sa desktop. Ay ganun din ang magdi-display sa, um, sa inyong mobile na Google Calendar. So install na lang po. And sa mga nagtataka kung ano pong platform ginamit namin para mag-invite sa inyong Google Calendar po yun, gumawa po ako ng sariling calendar and di ba, 2 to 4 p.m., edit, may edit po yung parang pencil po. I can edit the name. I can edit the guests. So, yung pong reg registration nyo actually, yung Google Forms, no, I will explain it later. May equivalent po yun na uh, um, Google Sheet wherein para po siyang database or actually database po siya talaga ng mga answers and kinopya ko lang po yung mga email addresses nyo at dinagdag ko po kayo sa guests. So regardless if your domain is, you do not belong to the um, Google domain, hindi po yan Gmail, um, if you are from Yahoo, if you are from Hotmail, then pwede pa din po kayong ma-invite. Then you have to save. And dito po, this is one good thing about Google Calendar. Kasi po, um, pwede po kayong mag-assign um, ng inyong Google Meet. If you would notice, no, naka, if you, if you, um, yung hindi ko pa pa ito nagagawa okay, for example, i-close ko to. kung gagawa ako mamaya namang 6pm um, pwede pong mag-add ng Google Meet video conferencing automatic na po ibibigay ng Google Calendar ang Google Meet ID nyo and sa Google Meet natin actually, um, maximum niya lang po is 250 and dito po sa text editor na um, area, dito nyo po ilalagay ang um, inyong ganaha. Ah, ayan na, nagbisaya na po. <laughs> Pasensya na po. <laughs> Taga dumagete po ako. So, hello po dyan sa mga kababayan. Um, dito nyo lang po ilalagay yung um, parang email message nyo. And say for example, mag add po ako ng another email. So... I-add ko na lang po si Joshua Corona ulit, no? Ang kasama ko dito. At na, nadagdag na po siya. Kung isi-save ko siya, magtatanong po si Google Calendar, gusto ko bang senda ng invitation yung kakalagay mo lang na um, pangalan or na email address? So, um, ayoko. So, dismiss. Uh, hindi, wag na. So, uh, don't send. Or kung gusto niyo talaga, which should actually be, you can... Check on, or uh, you can um, tap on send or press on send. At automatically, kung ano po ang content nitong nasa 
um, um, message part ko, makikita din po to ni Joshua Corona na sinendan ko. At um, meron po dong response part sa baba. Meron pong yes, no, maybe. Actually, madami po ako, perhaps may iba pa na hindi nakakaalam sa um, capability ng Google Calendar na invite, no? Um, you, if, if you want to confirm your attendance po, you actually have to um, press yes or to tap yes. If not, then no. If maybe, then maybe. Hindi po kayo mag-reply sa akin kasi madami po ako natatanggap na replies na email replies na yes. Whereas you actually have to just press on yes. So in future um, webinars po for our registrations at makakatanggap po kayo ng invite, just um, tap or press. Um, or click on yes po or no, you need not to reply na yes po. Kasi automatically mag-reflect po sa amin yan, may 517 na yes na marunong na kung paano uh, mag-confirm ng attendance kasi kinlik yung yes na button, may pitong nag-no. So may 931 na guests na in-invite ako kasi before cut off, umabot tayo ng 931 na interested participants. Okay? Then, really, then please don't forget to save. Okay? Pero i-close ko na lang po yan. At I'm sure na nawala ako kasi hindi ko na-share ang aking Chrome tab. Balik tayo sa my drive. Okay? Now, um, sa chat naman, so actually, um, you can actually chat uh, this is actually prior, this is called Hangouts, but I think it's not called Hangouts anymore, tama ba? Is there an update? Nag naging chat na siya because a couple of weeks back, Hangouts pa kasi ito eh. But, um, tama, nag-update na sila into chat. Chat, okay. Even ang ano po, ang, even ang Google Meet, dati Hangouts Meet po ang tawag dyan, at nagbago na po sila, kakabago lang nila, naging Google Meet na. So ito din palang hangouts natin, naging chat na sa You can chat with other people, you can do a group message, especially those members of um, other, um, of your organization. Si Joshua Corona, magchat ako. Hi JC, dalawa po kami Joshua dito sa office namin. Ako si JD, siya si JC. So mabawasan din niya po ito. Okay, so parang it's an easy way to chat aside from um, ang common chat applications natin is uh, Messenger. At magikita nyo po in real time na si JC ay nag-type. Uh, JC, can you uh, type again? Magikita din po na he is typing. I think the same naman po sa Messenger, no? And sa any chat application. So nag-reply din po siya. So if you belong to the same organization and naka-Google Drive po kayo, this comes handy po. Okay? Now, so much for that. Explore, explore na lang po ano. Kasi baka mag tayo sa oras. Then the meet and the contacts. Pwede nyo pong masync ang con contacts nyo. Sa inyong, um, especially if you are on Android. Kasi nag din po ng Google ang Android, and pwede nyo pong masync ang contacts nyo. Um, itong Google Sites po, if there were members uh, here last um, Tuesday, ito po ay isang CMS um, offered by Google para po siyang WordPress and Joomla and Drupal. They have developed their own. Okay? Now, on this part po, no? Move on na po tayo. On this part po, um, actually, my default account is, naka mail po ako. Kami po sa the ICT and mostly sa mga government agencies natin, nag-migrate na po kami into a G Suite. But if you want to uh, access um, Google Drive with all your other accounts, then you can um, you can do it from this part po. Okay, from this part and you can click on your account. Then pwede nyo pong sign out all of your accounts, pwede nyo po kayong mag-add ng another account at uh, I won't go into detail na lang po. You can explore. I, I, I think that is self-explanatory naman no? and self-understood naman po yan. Okay? Now, um, let's go now to the new. No, sa new po tayo, no? Kasi dito po sa new, itong may plus sa ating left side, 
you can actually create your own Google Drive folder or you can upload a file or you can upload a certain folder na nasa local storage nyo po or you can make use of the Google um, products and services under G Suite like Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides from this panel po. At meron pa pong iba, meron ding Google Forms, which what we use for our registration for, the, for, our, for all our webinars. And sana po, no, is it a good idea na magkaroon tayo ng separate um, webinar for Google Forms? Kasi medyo madugo-dugo po ang Google Forms. If I will tell you or I will um, give you uh, instructions. So, siguro some other day na lang po no, for Google Forms. But Google Forms um, really, really helps you a lot, especially in this certain um, situation that we have right now. Um, in my thesis, Diba, we are uh, our hands are tied to are tied to uh, conduct our survey, especially in my thesis. And I had some problem on how I will go to my respondents. How will I reach my respond to my respondents without going to them physically? My respondents come from um, Eastern and Central Visayas, kasi yun ang scope ng aking thesis. And and I had a I had some sort of um thinking. Paano ka, paano ko, paano ko ma, matatapos ang thesis ko without um, survey respondents? Good thing na lang po, meron tayong Google Forms because Google Forms is accessible by anyone, anywhere, in any, in any part of the world he or she may be for as long as there is internet connection, for as long as he or she has access to your Google Forms link. Okay? So separate na lang po na discussion siguro, no? And um, so sa folder po, um, here's how, uh, sa, say for example, my first Google Drive folder, ayan na, hindi ko na namalayan ang capitalization. My first Google Drive folder, so itong folder na po, it means na ito po ay folder na nandito sa inyong Google Drive which is uniquely created through your uh, through creating a new one but it doesn't limit you by in, in such a manner kasi you can actually um, upload your own folder na naka store locally and let's try na i-upload ko yung um, my first html folder na nasa desktop ko last tuesday and i-upload niya po yan and as you can see, dito po sa um, bottom right ng interface natin, dito nyo po malalaman kung ano na ang status, how many minutes are left, how many files, kasi meron akong 13 files, I think mga pictures yun and HTML files na nasa loob ng, um, um, ng folder ko, how many are left, how many ang ina-upload na ni Google Drive, nasa 11 of 13 na tayo, nasa 12 of 13, and finally, finishing upload na po siya, at magkikita nyo na si my first HTML ay nandito na sa ating Google Drive aside sa nasa local na natin siya, um, nasa Google Drive na natin siya. But it doesn't mean po no, na kung example, um, may i-delete ako dito, i-delete ko si folder na public, it doesn't reflect na madidelete din po siya sa ating local. Most especially because in-upload na natin siya sa ating Google Drive. Okay? But if nakasync po siya sa inyong um, Google uh, sa drive stream nyo, yung, yung, yung drive G natin kanina, kung magde-delete po kayo doon, madi-delete din po yung nandito sa Google Drive. Pero sa other local, yung kung saan po natin nilocate ang source natin, hindi po siya madi-delete. Okay? So, na-upload na po ng, um, na-upload po ni Google Drive ang aming, ang contents ng aking folders, ng folder, um, yung mga JPEG, yung mga um, images namin, photos namin, in-upload din niya. Yun po. So say for example po, um, gusto ko nasa loob ako ha ng aking um, folder na in-upload lang, nasa images na folder. Gusto ko ang mag-upload ng another, um, siguro a, a, a Microsoft Word document. Pwede ba siya? Di ba? 
is it does it not sound conflicting na o oh, di ba may Google Docs na um, feature si um si si G Suite natin bakit tayo mababasa pa ba si Microsoft Word so we will know the answer by actually uploading a file kung ito po ang pipiliin niyo it means na gagawa kayo or magke-create kayo ng new Google Docs document or new Google Sheet um spreadsheet or Google Slides presentation but when you um upload a file say for example maghanap po tayo ng uh, Microsoft Word ito po um si certificate of appearance si upload ko po sa so you can again see the history so actually um ang format niya po ay dot docs pa rin originally dot docs po siya no and when you when i uploaded it naging ano po naging siya the same pa rin dot docs pero readable pa rin siya nababasa pa rin siya ng ating google drive and when we click on what we uploaded Actually, ang mangyayari po is preview pa lang po ito siya. This is still a preview kung anong content nun. And you have dito po sa ating um, dito po sa ating interface sa taas, you can actually select which application sa Google Drive or any third-party application over the web ang ang, ano nyo, ang gagamitin nyo. So, if we choose um, open with Google Docs by default, mag-open po ang new tab and kinonvert na po, or actually hindi kinonvert, but dinisplay na ni Google Docs into at Google Docs interface na po siya, di ba? Wala na si file save us. Pero binabasa niyo, niya pa po siya ng dot .docs na format. You can see that here. Okay? And balik po tayo sa preview natin. Dito po, dito po natin malalaman kung downloadable ba ang file, kung sinare ba siya over um, the internet publicly. Kasi if, if it means na naka-enable ang download niya, it means na pwede siya ma-download. At yun yung ginawa ko, na-download ko siya locally into the same .docs na file. Pero malalaman po nyo po na view lang ang access nyo if hindi po siya downloadable. And then there are other actions, just like share. The first one is share, wherein the same po, di ba? Kung magbibigay tayo ng access to someone, members of our organization or a certain um, email address, then yun po, yun po ang menu na yun. So nasa right. Then ito pong move to, uh, pwede nyo pong i-move yung certain document, document nyo to the various doc, um, um, folders na nasa Google Drive nyo. So ito pong pinapakita na is um, actually you can select. Ito na po ang mga, ito na po ang mga folders ko sa um, Google Drive ko and pwede po akong sumilek or mag-select ng certain um, folder ko kung saan ko po ito i-move. Hindi ko na lang po siya i-move ha. Pwede po natin siyang i-add star meaning to say parang um, parang i-bookmark nyo po siya. Kung i-bookmark nyo po siya, it means na important siya. So parang ma madali pong ma-notice ang inyong document kasi may star siya among sa mga um, um, preview niya. Pwede nyo pong i-rename dito. Pwede pa kayo, pwede pa kayo mag-find kung meron kayong certain um, um, content na ipa-find. Pwede nyo pong tingnan ang details. Um, ito po, general information niya. What type of um, document is it and everything else. Sino po ang nag-share or sino ang owner, sino ang moderator, um, nandyan din po siya. May permission ba sa baba? Um, can viewers download? Can they not download? Or kung ano po ba? Okay? And pwede po siyang i-open in new window. It means to say, ang browser nyo po, um, i-open sa At yun po. Okay? Meron, meron po tayong manage comment notifications kasi... Um, pwede pong mag-comment actually. If you allowed uh, other users, users to comment, then pwede din po sa. Okay? Now, um, na-close ko po si Google Drive. Balik po tayo. 
Now, uh, nakikita nyo po ito, no? Ito dito sa, naka-zoom ba ako? Ito po sa upper right, no? Um, meron po tayong ganito na icon that is actually for you to which kind of view would you like um, to display your files na nasa loob sa, ng Google Drive? And, ayan po. You can choose if you want grid view. Pwede po. Now, um, one, um, one um, fact lang po about um, using um, the tools that we have sa, um, Google, uh, sa ating G Suite na applications, no? Um, when you actually um, upload files like Microsoft, um, or like Office documents, like Microsoft Word, Microsoft um, PowerPoint, Microsoft um, Excel, it will actually consume the storage that you have. Again, it will consume the storage that you have. Kami, we have 30 gig um, sa, um, sa amin, sa aming department, good for DepEd kasi unlimited. They belong sa Google for Education. So, ang surety nila kasi limited. But, um, if you could actually see itong, um, itong taken space natin na 15.1 gig, all of those files are actually those that we uploaded na um, Microsoft Office files. Yes po, when you create your own Google Docs, when you create your own, um, when you create your own uh, Google Sheets, your Google Slides, hindi po yan mag-take or mag-consume ng um, capacity, capacity, available capacity nyo sa inyong storage. Yes po. If you use the products of um, Google, of G Suite, hindi niya po i- uh, hindi niya po kukuhanin ang any space sa inyong available capacity and limited po for as long as you make use of their own um, um, platforms or their own um, products. Yes po. Now, another thing, uh, another tip po, no? Sige, um, I will um, hover to my Gmail and paliitan ko na lang po ha kasi para hindi nyo po medyo mabasa ang aking mga confidential, something confidential. Well, um, another, another files that consume your, um, that consume your, your storage is, ganito po kasi yun, when you create your when you create no your own um, um, message kapag nag kapag nag upload po kasi tayo di ba traditionally if may attach tayo na files like picture or Microsoft Office or Microsoft um, or any product ng Microsoft ito po ang ginagamit natin no itong attach file na paperclip icon the technique po actually para hindi siya mag-consume ng space is by uploading through this one po. Insert files using drive. So when you insert files, so ito po ang my drive, ito po yung drive natin na nasa cloud storage natin. Pwede po. Um, pwede pong share it with me. Meron po nag-share sa inyo ng certain for what? Sorry po. Huwag na lang po natin i-continue uh, yun. Pero if may nag-share po sa inyo ng um, Google Drive folder, pwede po. Yun. And recent files na nasa Google Drive nyo, di ba? Kaka-upload lang natin ito or ito. Itong isa, di ba? Kaka-open lang natin. Um, magsasuggest po siya na siya po ay recent files nyo. Pwede po yun. Ito, kaka-upload lang natin from our folder. I-display ko yan sa recent. Pero the technique here is if your file is stored locally, dito po sa upload, Kasi po, para hindi mag-consume ang storage nyo. As compared sa attachment, kung um, 
I think 25 MB po ang maximum ng um, um, file size ng pwede nyo ma-upload. At kung um, more than 25 na siya, um, it will automatically redirect you to uploading it via Google Drive. Okay? And when you upload in Google Drive, it will not actually take too much consumption sa inyong, um, sa inyong storage. Good for mga people sa DepEd kasi unlimited, so okay lang. But for the others na with limited capacity, especially those na mga free lang na 15 gig, then it means na you should... Um, Tita no, JC no? You should think of ways na um, maano siya, ma ma malimit nyo. Now, we can share folder. If nakikita nyo po tong icon na to, no, merong parang tao. Meron pang tao at ito namang sumusunod is wala. It means na ito pong isa ay naka-shared at ito namang pong isa ay hindi naka-shared. So itong year-end assessment, sinare ko po ito siya sa iba. Na-access din po nila tong folder na to. Well, itong si webinar folder, um, hindi ko po siya sinare, hindi po nila itong pwedeng ma-access. At kung nakikita nyo po, no, um, ibang kulay nito, nitong folder na to, they are, it is still the same folder, but you can actually change the color of your folder para medyo, um, perhaps kung, kung about work, pwedeng color green, kung about uh, recreation for recreational use, I'm for it for medical use, but not for recreational use. And pwede nyo po baguhin po ang color ng folder nyo. Okay? So, yun po. Now, um, what if, um, sir, gustong gusto ko po talaga ang... Uh, gustong gusto ko po talaga ang gamitin ang, ang G Suite. And I want to go beyond 30 gigabytes po. I want to go beyond... Gusto ko po... Unlimited din. Well, um, sad to say for personal use, if hindi po kayo uh, member ng Google for Education na um, program, then hindi po kayo pwedeng ma-unlimited. Ma so you are considered basic lang po. Um, the highest actually is, you can over po, no? The cheapest po is, Sige, display ko na lang kasi meron ako nito sa PowerPoint ko. Mas, mas mababasa siya ng maayos. Saglit lang po. At malapit na po tayo matapos. Huwag po kayong mag-alala. Ito po. Um, ito po ang summary kung in a Philippine setting, um, the highest po that you can avail of the storage capacity is 30 terabytes and that's 14,000 per month. And the cheapest po is just 89 pesos per month po and you already have 100 gigabytes of storage. So it starts at 89, then putting 200 gig, 2 terabytes, 10 terabytes, 20. It actually depends po on your... Um, it depends on how you are going to use your G Suite po kasi eh. When you pay annually, mas cheaper po siya as compared if you pay it monthly or on a monthly basis. So, nandyan din po ang summary. Okay? Now, since I'm back on my slides, um, ipakita ko na lang din po, no? Um, So like, if you are the manager of a certain file, then ito po, check, naka-check po lahat ng can view files and folders, can comment on file, pero hindi po makita ng, say for example, ng contributor and ng viewer, um, if naka-restrict po to specific files, then ang commenter hindi po pwede, ang viewer hindi po pwede. So ganun po. Uh, actually, I will be sending this slide naman po um, siguro when I also give you your certificates um, so that you will be guided kung ano pa ang mga restrictions, kung sino lang po ang pwede. 
Kasi kung ibibigay ko na po itong slides right after then, naku, mukhang mapaperfect nyo na ang quiz natin yan. Kasi lahat po nang nasa quiz ay um, nandito din po sa slides. And actually, yun, yun po ang diniscuss ko. Yun po ang uh, lalabas din for the quiz later, which is a 10-item quiz. And you, you have to get or to obtain 70%. So that's 7 points. Okay, so another, ano po, another um, last na lang po, last um, capability or functionality po is um, to know the keyboard shortcuts, di ba? Um, it comes handy po, no, na to know the keyboard shortcuts of our um, Google Drive. So how do you do that? You press shift and then question mark and it will display ano po ang mga certain keyboard shortcuts kung ano po ang gusto niyong gawin. If Say, for example, you are working under pressure and you have to finish everything. What are the different um, keyboard shortcuts? Okay. Um, I, I'm going to check if my namis pa ako sa slides. Ah, sorry po, hindi pala nakita yun. No? But ito po, ulitin ko po ha, about yung sa shift plus question mark na sa Google Drive po tayo. If you key in shift and question mark, lalabas po ang different keyboard shortcuts. So kung create, upload, makikita po dyan kasi it comes handy po no, kung alam nyo ang mga shortcuts. Nagmamadali po kayo, hindi nyo na kailangan ng long, long cut, long cut kasi gusto nyo ng shortcut, then pwede nyo po, you can study and practice on that. And iti-check ko po kung may na-miss ako, I think wala naman. And drive file stream po, then again, itong drive file stream po, meron po akong, um, let's say, uh, local disk equivalent sa, sa aking own laptop. And kung ano pong laman ng aking Google Drive, ay siya din pong laman ng aking drive file stream, which is drive G. And pwede din po yan ma-download. Kung nakakonect po kayo online, then pwede ma-delete ang nasa um, drive G nyo. At madidelete po, mag-reflect din sa inyong, um, sa inyong Google Drive, sa inyong My Drive. So I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going over kung, kasi dire-diretso dire, na po ako no, sa Google Drive. So I think na-mention ko naman po to sila, mga cheat sheets lang. Ay, by the way, if you are not, say for example, no, you don't belong to the GovMail domain, you don't belong to the DICT or to us to that ed or to a certain domain then you could actually create your own groups just um, key in google group po and then you can create your own groups parang ano siya parang recipient um or your um distribution list or recipients list ng mga close friends nyo ng contacts nyo pwede nyong pwede nyong i-add ang mga email address niyan para kung mag-share na po kayo Di ba? Kung mag-share na po kayo ng certain folder nyo or file nyo, pwede na din pong lumabas dito ang certain um, group nyo or ang certain, um, yeah, tama, my groups nyo po sa inyong Google. So I think that's it. Um, yay! Hey, hindi ako nag-extend unlike last Tuesday. But um, for those po, kasi mayroon po nagsasabi no na um, um, it took, um, parang it took me long daw last Tuesday or mayroon din nagsasabi na bitin po sa, but to tell you honestly, um, learning HTML uh, doesn't happen overnight po. So ako po, I learned it through one semester, <laughs> four months. So I understand po na... Um, it, it could not be possible in, to squeeze everything in into two to three hours, just basics. Lapo. So I think that's it. Um, Ma'am Alanisa, can I, uh, can I give it back to you? Yes, po, uh, Sir Joshua Dolman. Uh, thank you, po, Sir Joshua, for the presentation. So, sigurado po ako na uh, maraming natutunan ng ating mga attendees today. So, yun. Before I proceed po sa next, um, next, na, next nating, ano, 
program, uh, shameless plug lang po sa DICT webinars namin. Okay. So this week po, uh, tomorrow we have the Freelancer Ultimate Guide. So ito po. So kung gusto niyo pong mag, uh, mag-register, nandito lang po. At saka nakapost din po siya sa Facebook page natin. So we have three uh, speakers who will be talking about how to foolproof your future. The Freelancer's Ultimate, ultimate Guide in Avoiding Medical debt. And then in the afternoon, uh, we have mer- actionable steps to get hired in the video industry amidst the pandemic. So both online job and office job edition. So our speaker is Raya Ninja, a consultant and a YouTuber. So pwede po kayo mag-subscribe sa YouTube channel niya. At saka sa Facebook page niya, just look for Raya Ninja. And then next week on May 29, we have a free webinar. Let's do online work offline. Uh, 2 to 4 p.m. So, uh, nakapost na din po siya sa Facebook page namin so that you can just click the link uh, sa Facebook post. And then, uh, let's call on uh, Ma'am Claire Fernandez for our closing remarks. Mr. Fernandez, our provincial officer, you made that available. Sige, parang wala po ata si Ms. Claire. So, basically, ako lang po ang mag-closing remarks. So, sa lahat po ng attendees, to all our teachers, uh, also from the other different sectors, Thank you very much po sa pag-attend ng webinar na to. Thank you for you know, uh, investing at least two hours of your time in learning the basics ng Google Drive. Um, this is, ano, it would be better if, if siguro after the session you have to apply it so that you will retain the knowledge brought to you by Sir Joshua Domen. And then we'd like to uh, send special thank you to our technical committee, Engineer Leo Cipriano, Corbiscundo Jr., uh, Sir George Michael, um, Claire, Sir Joshua Corona, Sir Ari Zeta, Sir Jerry Cuyante, Mom Mary Luz Magnaya, Ms. Mary Chris Maglangit, myself, Po Alanisa, and to our resource speaker, Sir Joshua Elizar Donet, and to the rest of the DICT. BC2 staff. So, sila po yung uh, nag-organize ng event and mayroon po silang designated task. Okay. So, questions and answers. So, may questions po ba kayo kay Sir Joshua? Pwede po tayo magtanong sa chat box at naninili po kami. So, kung wala naman pong questions, no? Um, itong webinar na to, marami din po nagpapandak ng free webinar in the ICT. Aside from the Visayas Cluster 2, meron po tayo sa ibang cluster in Luzon and Mindanao. Uh, you can also find their recordings on their Facebook page. Uh, there are other resources available in YouTube. Uh, search na lang po kung paano, um, let's say, basics na Google Drive or how to uh, organize your Google Drive folders. So those are helpful for everyone, whichever organization you're from. And then, sa akin, hinihintay niyo po yung sa certificate. Okay? So evaluation quiz and uploading output. So ito po yung link, tiny.cc forward slash g drive quiz. So case sensitive po siya. Uh, screen grab na lang po kayo sa screen. So, my note po yung organizers. One take only. Link will close tomorrow at 5 p.m. Results will generate automatically and must obtain seven points or higher in certificates to be given within two to three weeks. So, if you need to revisit the presentation, you can go to our Facebook page para naman maka-achieve tayo ng 7 points or higher. 
So when you type the URL, right, it's T-sensitive. Kung uppercase po yung letter, uppercase po siya. So may mga questions po ba sa ating mga attendees? So again po, we'd like to... So may question na po. Ika lang po kasi naglo-load yung screen. So while nag-load po yung screen po, again, we'd like to thank our resource speaker for giving the time in preparing the presentation. Hindi po madali mag-prepare, especially na back-to-back -back po yung uh, ginawa niyang webinar for this week. And meron pa din siya mga regular function aside from conducting webinar. Uh, so we appreciate po yung ginawa po ni Sir Joshua Dome for our community. So my question galing kay, asa na po yun? Uh, Momar Sagang, if next are ang subscription, automatic po ba ma-erase ng cloud storage ng mga files? So uh, uh, hindi po. Hindi po siya automatic mag-notify po sa And it will give you more time. Ayan po. So, Sir, Sir Armand Momar Sagang, so hindi po siya automatic pag it So, bibigyan po kayo ng time ni Google para ma- ma-download or ma-backup nyo yung cloud storage tasks nyo. Ma'am, sorry ha, sorry, kasi may, may typo lang tayo sa standby presentation natin kasi ni-recycle lang natin yung ginamit natin sa HTML but wala pong uploading output, evaluation and quiz lang po siya. Ah, okay po. So, yun. Yeah. So, clear po tayo mga uh, attendees here. All you need to do is just answer the, the quiz and the evaluation or survey. So, nothing to upload. Wala po tayong output na ipibigay. Uh, answer lang po ng survey. And yung iba question is related sa basic troubleshooting. Uh, wala pong results. Um, yes, so for the basic troubleshooting na webinar, I, yes, we noticed na wala pong results yung exam. I think our organizers will be manually sending the results as uh, well within a couple of weeks. So question from Dana, what if di na obtain ng seven points and higher? Walang certificate? <laughs> so organizer teams natin. Si wala pong certificate if less than seven points. Um, Again, this webinar is with, well, what we want to achieve is for everyone to at least um, take, into, take into consideration na ma-achieve nila yung points na may natutunan po sila sa ating resource speaker. So if less than seven points wala pong certificate, you can use another siguro, although not highly recommended. Um, you can revisit na lang po yung yung Facebook page natin, if there are questions na medyo tricky, you can go back to the Facebook page to review the, to check kung matama ba yung answer mo before you submit. And uh, link not working by Christian. Nag-work po. Case sensitive lang siya. Uh, pero we'll post po the link siguro sa Facebook page for our Facebook participants. Hello po sa inyo. So, and again, uh, just to be clear, wala pong output na isisend, just answer the evaluation and the quiz, nothing to upload, hindi po siya similar sa HTML ng webinar. Um, sige. Wait lang po ha, nabasa po tayo ng mga questions. So, yun po bang sa calendar, pag nag attach ng email, may possibility na maulit-ulit ma ang pagsisend sa recipient pag nagdagdag ng guest from Ruel Valdoria. Sir Jane. Ay, ma'am, may, may question. Sorry na wala ako. <laughs> yes po. So may uh, question okay. po sa chat regarding okay. adding recipients sa Google Calendar. So, every time pa na magdagdag na she adds the recipient, will the existing recipient receive the same 
uh, notification ba na? Yes, the same, the same. Pero, ano to sa, um, how do I explain this? Um, kapag too many, I think more than 250 ang participants, no? Kasi mayroong part doon na um, i-display kung sino ang other participants. If um, there are more than 250 participants, hindi na siya i-display because parang sasabihin na the, the participants are too large to display. But uh, regardless, lahat ay, uh, lahat makakatanggap individually. Okay, thank you po. Uh, my question, although not related sa G Drive or Google Drive, question from Harry. How about sa HTML output based? Who yun? Uh, Ay, medyo nawala ka, ma'am. Ano yun, yung last part? Based. <laughs> How about dun sa HTML output based? Who yun? So, ibig sabihin, my consideration kahit di maka seven points. Ay, hindi, because we should strictly follow kung meron kang output pero hindi din nakaabot ng seven points ang score mo, uh, yung wala pong certificate, sorry. Ayun po, Sir Harry. So dapat po may output at the same time makapas, ma-reach mo yung points. And then, so yun po, majority of the questions here are on the previous webinars. Um, I think you can respond to the organizing team po. Meron ata silang sinend na invitation or you can also post it sa Facebook Messenger namin and we'll reply as soon as possible. Asensya na po pag hindi namin ma-reply agad-agad, medyo madami din po yung sa Facebook Messenger. Pero if you're looking for the links, it is available po sa video. Uh, Inalagay na lang po namin sa uh, caption. Okay. So again, thank you very much to our attendees, to our resource speaker, and to the DICT organizing team. Uh, this is uh, all for today, po. At least we're on time. And um, congratulations po sa lahat na nakapas ng exam. So again, the link will, oh, will close until 5 p.m. tomorrow. So if you have time, uh, just do it today para fresh pa yung uh, knowledge na po natin. So thank you very much po and have a wonderful afternoon and advance happy holidays. <laughs>